What's up guys? Do you own one of these guys and they started leaking? Or maybe your lawn is just not getting the pressure it deserves. Well today I'm going to show you how to make a DIY garden hose shutoff valve that will completely revolutionize your experience in the lawn. <laughs> A big reason that these store-bought garden hose shutoff valves like this don't perform well is because of the diameter of the inside of the ball valve. I'm going to show you right now exactly what I mean. The diameter is extremely small and the water that comes from your garden hose has to pass through here. This right here is the ball valve that I use for my own custom build. It's 3 4 inch and the key thing about this ball valve is that it has a full port. So when you use it with your garden hose, it'll come out full blast. Now I'm going to show you guys the difference between the two shutoff valves. Alright, so the first thing we're going to need is a 3 fourths MIP male to three-fourths male garden hose fitting. The next fitting we're gonna need is a three-fourths MIP male to three-fourths female garden hose. As I mentioned earlier, this is a full port three-fourths ball valve. Next up on the list is some plumber's tape and uh, do yourself a favor and make sure you buy the good kind. Don't buy the cheap kind because you'll be thanking me later if you don't. And the last thing is a good set of channel locks. First thing we're going to do is tape up our fittings. We'll start with the 3 4 MIP male to 3 4 garden hose male. And if you guys don't know, always wrap your fittings clockwise with the threads facing you. Because if you don't, when you're threading on the fitting, it can come undone and you could have leakage issues. Next thing we're going to do is tape up the 3 4 MIP to 3 4 female garden hose fitting. Now this is a very important step. You want to make sure we thread it in correctly because we want the valve to be facing down towards the hose. If not, it'll get in the way of your hose nozzle. We want to make sure that the female garden hose is facing downwards. Then tighten it up with both of your channel locks. Then we will do the same for the opposite end. And voila! There you have it. Your own custom made heavy duty garden hose shutoff valve. Chill. Look at that diameter. What's up guys? And that's the end of the build. I know that this was a really simple build, but sometimes it's the little things in life that matter the most. This ball valve literally changed my whole experience with my lawn care. I hope that I can help some of you guys out, and if you guys do end up building it, comment below and tell me how it went for you. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And with that, this is George from Princess Cuts.